Yo, what's good, guys? Right now, I am at the gas station with the clone. Y'all probably wondering, like, what the hell? I thought you got rid of it. I really didn't get rid of it. Right now, we're at the gas station filling it up. I'm finna take it to Mississippi to go get fixed. So, this is the last time that it's gonna look like this. So, yeah, right now, I'm just waiting for it to fill up. Freaking taking forever, though. But it is, like, 1 in the morning. Obviously, I can't get out through here. It's freaking permanently locked, but, yeah. Honestly, I'm low-key hungry, but I'm not finna eat. I'm gonna wait till a little bit later. But damn, it keeps going. 74. But yeah, it's a 12-hour drive. Gotta head to Mississippi. Hopefully, I get there around 12. Chill around for a little bit. And they're gonna bring me to the airport. They're gonna take me to the airport. My flight's at 6. I gotta be there by 4, because at airports, you gotta be there by... You gotta be there two hours earlier. So that's the plan, and then... I departure at 6 and then I land here in North Carolina like at 1 but there is a stop in Atlanta so let's go ahead and do that so I'll catch you guys later I am in Mississippi right now and I stopped in Alabama to get some Whataburger it was really good but my stomach was full dog I was hella full and then right now I had to pee so bad so I stopped I was, I'm supposed to get there at 12.30 but I'm getting there at 12.54 now but I kept falling asleep and then I don't know what happened but I was driving and I was just going straight and I was like this on my phone but I wasn't looking at it I was like this next thing you know it dropped and then like I woke up and I noticed that I was going straight to the rail and I'm like holy crap but I only slept like three hours last night but I'm ready to get home and go to sleep though I want to go to sleep I think I'm gonna be up all all 24 hours today because as soon as I get there, they got to take me to the airport because the airport is like an hour and 30, hour 40 away. And I got to be there at 4. And the flight is like at 6. And I, then I land in Atlanta. And then from Atlanta to North Carolina. I don't get to North Carolina until 1 o'clock, 1 in the morning. And my dad is going to take my truck over there. And my stepmom's going to pick him up and you know if you know you know like he's gonna leave the truck there so when i get there i'll just take my truck and go home but i'm still debating if i should go to my dad's house or my mom's i don't know i have to see because tomorrow i am gonna go to busco but who knows but i'll catch you guys later right now we're like an hour and like 20 minutes i think so it's not gonna take much um Besides that, everything's going fine, but the AC is just being annoying. And all that noise right there, that's why I be blasting music. So I don't know if I'm actually screaming or not, so my fault. But either way, I'll catch you guys later. Yo guys, so right now we made it, <clears throat> and my voice is being weird since all the air and then the AC I feel like it's fucking with my fucking voice. Uh, I feel so stupid. But I just went to the gas station, I had to fill up again. Um, the guy's about to come. Oh, but yeah, I'm over here at the house now. I think we're about to hang out for a few because it's still a little bit early. But I think the airport's like an hour and 30 or two hours away. And I got to be there at, I got to be there at four because the flight is at six. And you know, you have to be there two hours early. So, you know, we'll probably just chill for a few, talk to his dad, talk to everybody, and then probably head out that way. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys at the airport. Guys. Look at the new merch. Look at that. That looks fire. Yo, what is good, guys? I am back. And as you can see behind me, we got the clone back. And my last two videos, it was wrecked. It was a total loss. I'm going to explain to you guys everything, every detail that was done to the truck so it could be brought back to life. So let's go ahead and do that. Starting off with the truck and everything, it looks really good. I told them to repaint the whole truck because it wouldn't make sense just to fix that side and fix the door and just paint this and the whole bed and have this all like this color whenever we first got the truck this was this used to have bed liner all this right here that right there and all around and it used to have a spoiler as well right here but i told him to go ahead and take all that off and paint it because i want to add a wing on it and i want to add the ss kit whenever i'm able to all the ss kits right now are pretty much like literally taxing right now overpriced so i'm gonna just wait on that and you know but either way the door is pretty good 
it shuts perfectly fine and opens up so that's pretty good and they added this new rocker panel right there they t they cut off the old one welded a new one and they put this new door in the door was red and it's so much nicer like it literally feels good and everything this side is literally better than the other side to be honest with you but that's great the door panel is obviously in perfect condition because if you know i couldn't open the door and it was pushed all the way in and luckily none of this was broken or anything everything is good on it but one thing about the truck though it does make one noise but i don't think it's, it's nothing on the engine it's nothing there it's just something around here i don't know what it is but it's something around here but the battery is completely dead i tried to turn it on earlier and it just died on me so that's why i have those jumper cables right there that jump box look at that Damn, it's dead as hell. But let's go ahead and turn it on so I can show you guys. But yeah, they did a pretty good job and I'm gonna explain to you the price and everything. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so we connected it already. Let's go ahead and wait a few seconds and go ahead and try to turn it on. Let's go ahead, let me see. It should turn on right away. Let's check. Yeah, we good. She's all good. Everything's fine on her. I just need a new battery. And yeah, guys, I love this. I love this duel right here. The SS and the GMC beside each other. I just love it. The colors look really good. Look at that. That looks so nice. And we got the Can-Am right here. La Cheyenne, the Lightning, and the OBS. And right here was my dad's Can-Am, but we sold it. Well, not me, not we, but like he sold it. He didn't want it no more. He got a new scat pack, so that's why he sold it, to be honest. Well, he already got the scat pack, and then he sold the Can-Am. He just didn't want it no more. But yeah, everything's perfect about the truck. I'm going to talk to you about the price, like how much did they charge me to fix it, and et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, guys, you know that I had to go to Mississippi. I dropped it off. I went in the red clone. I went in a red SS clone. To get this truck, they're painting my red one and they're putting the claddings on. So let me go ahead and get inside and talk to you guys. All right, guys. So if I'm being honest with you, when they totaled the truck, when they told me they weren't, they were gonna pick it up and like not fix it, I was like, damn, I ain't know what to do. But then I knew I was gonna keep it because I'm not finna pay something off that I don't have. So I was like, I might as well keep it and fix it, and I'ma just see whoever can fix it, you know. And I was asking people around here. A lot of people were telling me ten thousand dollars to fix this truck that's a whole new truck that's like a down payment to some land bro like literally so i was like hell nah and then one day i was just on instagram looking at dms and some dude texted me his name is josh shout out josh and his dad they're they're really cool people they're really goaded for fixing up the whole truck he was telling me that he can fix it that his dad fixed a truck like that and i was like let me see some pictures he sent me a picture and his dad literally fixed a truck that was like beat up like mine and i was like oh shoot i told my dad i'm like yo i might go all the way to mississippi he was like you crazy i was like nah bro like they did good work i'm gonna have to go out there he was like well if that's what you want to do you know go for it type shit so i did and then i just told him let me let me wait till like the airplane tickets are like low because I remember I was gonna go one Saturday and they were like 400. I was like, hell no, the, the following week was like 90 bucks. I was like, I'd rather pay 90 bucks. And then I took it all the way over there. He started up, updating me, sending me pictures. The next day they already took off the door. I was like, what the hell? And that shit was crazy. And I think they took about two to three weeks to fix the whole truck, fix it, paint it, new door, everything. I was like, damn, bro. Like, bro, when I tell you they, they hard workers, bro, they hard workers, bro. No cap for real. And then, I was like, you know what? I was like, if they're painting this one and fixing it up, I might as well tell them to fix up my red one. And I told them, like, yo, how much would you charge me to do the red one, this and this, with the cladding kit? And they told me, I was like, all right, that's fine. I'll just go. I'll drive down there with the red one, pick this one up, leave with it, and I'll leave you that one. I'll buy a plane ticket whenever y'all don't want that one and just drive back. And to be honest, bro, driving the red one, it was crazy, bro. Like like when i was driving it was so low when i was driving and, and i see a bad bump i'm like oh shoot i freaking jump up and oh my gosh bro that shit would be so terrible but it's not even like a bump but like it's the roads are so bad and stuff and i'm just like damn but i might add a one inch spacer on the spring so it can lift up a little bit 
or I might as well cut that cross member, but I'm not too sure. We'll just have to see, but yeah. Here from the house to Mississippi was 12 hours. I left at one in the morning. I left at one in the morning and I only slept for one hour. I got there like at 1.30, picked it up, gave him the money and I got him this one. I went straight to Atlanta. I ate some Whataburger cause that shit was smack. Every time I go out, I always eat that cause there's none over here. So, and then I wanted to keep going. I was gonna get here like at four in the morning, but I couldn't even remember from when I left his house to Atlanta cause that's how tired I was. So I decided to stop somewhere in Georgia and sleep. And then in the morning, you know, I came straight home. But besides that, I was just chilling. The truck is amazing, I love it. A lot of people say that the truck looks way better now than what it was looking like before. And to be honest, I kind of agree with them because I don't know what they did, but it looks pretty good, to be honest with you. This air feels good. But also, one thing about the air, it feels good for like the first 30 minutes, and then after a while, it cuts off, and I have to turn it off, and then it cuts back on within like 15, 20 minutes. I don't like that. I don't know what's the issue with that, but I got to get that fixed soon. And then the red one, too, the, the, the driver's side... The driver's side blows out cold, but the passenger shot the passenger side just blows out straight hot and I don't like that. I gotta fix that too. And that shit is crazy. But besides that, bro, the truck turned out really nice, bro. No one expected it. I ain't really tell nobody to be honest. I only told like maybe like two people, like close people, that's it. But I just need to wash it to be honest with you, because it's just been sitting here and I've been working a lot. So I haven't really had time to uh, wash both of them, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to know how much did I pay to get the truck fixed, to get the door fixed, to get the over there on the bed fixed and repaint it. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. They charged me $5,000 to fix it and repaint it and everything. Honestly, that's a good price. Number one, it looks good. Number two, the door closes is perfect. Number three, everything looks perfect. Like honestly, the paint job is really good. And they did tell me that they painted it the first time, but they didn't like how it was looking. So they repainted it again. So I appreciate them a lot for doing that. But besides that, guys, the truck looks perfect. It runs good. But like every time when I drive and I let go of the gas, you can hear something squeak. I'm not sure what the hell that is, but I got to look into that. So nothing can mess up or anything. And I know I got to change the oil soon because, shoot, we brought it back from Texas. I went over there to Mississippi and then I came back. I know I got to change it pretty soon because I didn't even, I checked the oil though before I left. So the oil was really good, but you know, I might need an oil change pretty soon, but $5,000. Um, I think I spent around like, I want to say maybe like somewhere between 250 to $300 on gas on the way there. And then when I went to drive the red one, I know I spent like at least like 300 on the way there and on the way back with this one. I think probably like 250 so that's how much i spent on gas and obviously i gotta buy the plane ticket to go over there again and gas on the way back with the red one the red one wastes a little bit more gas because i did cut the exhaust since i lowered it so yeah and to be honest with you guys the only reason i didn't tell nobody or i told i told the whole tiktok people well my supporters i told you that i sold it to coport because a lot of people whenever i first posted that i crashed it everybody was happy all the haters were happy. All the haters were like, oh, let me know when it gets on Copart, little bro, this and this, blah, blah, blah. But when I posted it back, they just sit in there quiet. Like, like, I don't understand, to be honest with you, I really don't understand why people would want to buy a freaking crash truck when they can just buy a truck and fix it up themselves. Like, what's so important about mine? Like, do you really want to sit there and, and brag and say, oh, I bought Bracey's truck, I bought Alex's truck? Like, is that, is like, is that... Is that what y'all like or something? Because I don't know. That's weird. Like, you could literally, like, buy a freaking, a new truck with the same price of buying this one and fixing it. So, I mean, I don't understand. But besides that, that's why I didn't tell nobody. And that's why I kept it low key. So, yeah. I mean, it's pretty good. A lot of people did not expect it. So, a lot of people were guessing so many other stuff that I was going to get when I said I was going to get a new truck. But really, it was this one. But... You know, I'm proud of it, to be honest. I'm proud of myself. I wonder if it's going to turn on if I try to turn it on because I think yesterday I turned it off and tried to turn it back on and it didn't turn on. So if it turns on, I'm going to be surprised. But if it don't, then I knew it. I knew it. It don't turn on. 
But I want to add a little SS emblem right here. I don't like that. I'm going to add an SS emblem. I hate that. But, oh, a lot of people were talking so much smack. Talking about some the interior was too much money, but the the freaking headliner is freaking stock. To be honest with you, I was thinking about it. If I get it black, it's not going to look good. Like, this color literally looks good with it. Hold on, let me turn the camera around. Like, it's the original one, but it looks good with it. Like, I feel like if they would have put it like this, the same one, it would have been too much. So, I mean, I like it, to be honest with you. I don't think black would look good, but maybe, I don't know. Hold on. I don't think black would look good. A black headliner? Hell no, it wouldn't look good. I think that looks perfect, to be honest with you. So, yeah, some people would be tripping, bro. Like, I remember I posted a video saying that the interior was 7,000. So many people got on me saying, you're stupid, this and this. But... If I wanted to get interior for the other truck, nobody would tell me, yo, there's a cheap place. This and you get what I'm saying? Like, they wait last minute until something happens to say, yo, you could have got it over here, over here, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. But also, guys, the new merch is getting shipped out today. They shipping it out to me, and then I got to ship it out to the people that bought. So I appreciate you guys. I just got to add the Can-Am right there because in the shirts, you see the GMC, you see this one, and you see the Can-Am. But yeah, uh, hopefully it takes about like what three to five days to come. So and then another three to five days for me to ship it out and for y'all to receive it, bro. Look at this lineup, bro. The Can Am, the Clone, the GMC. Obviously, this ain't obviously really expensive. I mean, I got that one for like fourteen. This one nineteen, and this one was twenty for me, brand new, twenty literally. It was it's like twenty twenty four, and it's pretty good. Twenty for that is really good, but. This ain't much. I know some people can have a freaking Lambo, a freaking Porsche, and a better freaking Can-Am. But shoot, I'm happy with what I got, bro. I really am. Last year, I wanted a Can-Am so bad. So bad. I wasn't, like, begging for it. I wasn't begging. But in my mind, I was just like, damn, bro. Having a Can-Am would be so tough. And I would have always watched them TikToks of them off-roading at night and glamis and all that. And I'm like, dude. Like, damn, bro. Like, that shit is fire. And finally, this year, I was able to get one. So I'm really proud of myself. So, yeah, um, I've never heard nobody ever tell me they're proud of me, except supporters, but, like, people around me, I haven't heard that, thinking about it, but I don't need to hear nothing from nobody, I'm proud of myself, as long as I know what I'm, you know, feeling, you know, I'm straight, but besides that, that's fire, um, bro, like, listen to me, bro, when I tell you this, bro, when I tell you sometimes I didn't even have $20 to fill up my tank to go to work, I didn't, some people not gonna believe me, because they see what my dad has and they see the house we live in now and people gonna be like, bro, you spoiled? Bro, I promise you, like, I was literally, like, fucking down bad. I remember one time for a whole week straight of work, I couldn't go to work from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday because I didn't have no gas money. I asked my mom and she gave me, like, 20 bucks the, the last following week. But, you know, like, you know, my mom's not rich. She don't, she, like, she's middle, you know? She's middle class. And she couldn't help me out. And I was just like, all right, that's fine. But I wouldn't tell her I would miss work, you know? She'll think I'll be at work, but really I'll just be at the crib chilling. And I'll be so disappointed. I'll be writing down in my notebook, like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? I feel more comfortable on YouTube because I know people kind of don't watch my YouTube videos longer. But one day when I'm rich, a lot of people are going to come back and go to my old videos like this one. They're going to be like, yo, he was telling us the whole time. But this is a booklet that I've always had since, like, 2021, 2020. I think 2021, to be honest. And I write down so much stuff, my goals, my, what I'm feeling, what I'm going through. And, you know, just talk, just talk to myself. Cause to be honest with you guys, I don't really have friends. I know a lot of people, but I can't really sit here and think of one person that I can call and like, you know, like type shit. But I don't need nobody. I got my family. I got my, my dad, my mom. Although I don't really, really talk to my mom like that that much, even though I should um you know sometimes in life you got to do what you got to do so you could be su be successful so you can bring success to those around you you know that's why i gotta isolate myself sometimes from family but you know they know that i'm working they know that i'm busy you know also um <clears throat> honestly bro i'm 21 if i can do it right now bro you can do it too but those that look up to me and and are younger than me if you lock in and, like, say F the drugs, F the parties, F the girls, you can have what I have at a younger age. Honestly, you can. 
when I was like 17, 18, I was just thinking about shorties. I was just, I was thinking about dumb shit. I was thinking about stuff that ain't even helping me out now. Stuff that I don't even have now. Shorties that I don't even talk to now. You get what I'm saying? So if, if I could tell my younger self to like chill out and lock in, bro, I would, bro. Because all that shit is temporarily, all this is temporarily too, but I'm having fun right now. I mean, I'm, I'm living life. I'm living life, but I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I'm not where I want to be at. I don't know where I want to be at, but I know I want to be somewhere better than where I am right now. But, you know, I thank the Lord that I'm here type shit. You feel me? But, yeah. But when I tell you sincerely and genuinely, if I can do it, you can do it. My dad always tells me that, for real. But, yeah, guys, the next car show, truck show, is going to be CYT October 12th. Today is October 2nd. So that means next Saturday, CYT. I hope that the red truck is ready before next Thursday because I want to get a plane. T I got to get a plane ticket. Like, I can't get it last minute because they cost so damn much. But hopefully, he tells me a good, you know, like three to four days like in advance so I can uh, book a flight and head that way. But hopefully, it's here before CYT. I don't know if it is or not, but hopefully, it is. And oh my gosh, I just can't wait. But the thing I cannot, like, the thing that's stressing me out is the freaking, the cross member cut. It is, it is really hitting really bad, to be honest with you. It's like a six, seven in the front. I don't know. But I thought I bought drop spindles that were like OEM. But I, I guess they're like freaking, what, like two inch? I don't know, though, because I don't know. That's weird. But besides that, guys, I'm happy that the clone is back. Um, Everything is possible when you wake up and work. Every day I have a choice, either stay in bed not do nothing or wake up do something you know you got a choice dog you really do but yeah guys let me know what you guys think was this a w comeback or not nah, i know a lot of people are probably not going to expect this video and i look have been slacking on youtube to be honest with you but i just been so busy doing this and this blah blah but either way i'm happy we got the truck back my tags are expiring that one so i gotta go to the dmv and do do that soon because this is the one that told the other one so yeah but for CYT, I want to take this truck, obviously, because I got to tow the Can-Am. So take the Can-Am, the GMC, this one, and hopefully the red one if I have it by then. And the March is coming in probably next week. So, oh my gosh, everything's going to be great. I, I don't know what to expect because this is my first time going to this show. So I know it's going to be something nice. It's going to be something good. So I don't know. I just got faith and whatnot. So, yeah, I mean, i catch you guys soon. And... Comment, like, comment, share, subscribe, blah, 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 you know what to do. And I see you guys, but remind you, if I can do it, you can do it too. So just remember that. I know a lot of people are in some places, they're like, well, I'm doing this. When you think better, when you want better, you're going to do better. So catch you guys in the next video, and I'll see you guys.